<clears throat> Students, we are going to make this mobile housing exercise. And uh, this is actually exercise 8.22 from the from the textbook. OK, how we are going to start first, we are going to make these two circles. And we know that the 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 diameter of the small circle is 1.38 as we can see from here. So you can see the hidden lines over here. You can see the hidden lines. So this means that this circle is how it's, it's a hollow all through and you have another circle over here and this is actually a cylinder. So you have a hollow circle, a hole inside with diameter 1.38 and a bigger hole with diameter 1.22. So we are going to start from here first of all. So this is actually our uh, front view and that's our right view. So if this is the front view, so we are going to make these two circles in the front view. So we will go to the solid box and we will select the front view, front plane. And we'll sketch on this front plane. We are going to choose the units. We have to see which, which what units are there. So the units are in inches. So there's nothing written over here. And you can see from here that it's 0 0.82. So if you have numbers in decimal, this means that the units are in inches. Millimeters are normally not in, uh, they are not in uh, decimal numbers normally. And uh, you can see that there is no, nothing written over here, no metric written over here. So this means this, this is in inches. So the diameter of the bigger circle is 2.12. And the diameter of the smaller circle is 1.38. So the circles are over here. So we are going to make these two circles. OK, so we can also see that this part is actually symmetric about the center center line. We can see that this is the center line and it's actually symmetric. OK, so we are going to use the take the advantage of the symmetry. So we'll come here. We are going to make two circles on the front plane. So we'll change the unit to, sorry, it's in, it's in inches. So we will select the front plane, sketch on this. We are going to make the two circles. This is the first circle. And this one is the second circle. And the diameter of the first circle is 1.38. Diameter of the first circle is 1.38. 1. 8. Okay, and the diameter of the big circle is 2.12. So it is 2.12. Okay, and click OK. Go to exclude features, exclude boss, and taking the advantage of symmetry, make do not do not select blind, rather select mid plane. So we want that we want this origin to be in the in the middle middle of the part. And what is the total length? It is 2.50 as you can see here. So enter this 2.50 value over here. 2.50. Okay. So your sketch is actually in the middle and the origin is going to be in the middle. So we are going to take the advantage of the symmetry. If we do not select the midplane, for example, we select the blind, then this is going to be at one end. So if we select midplane, the distance is going to remain 2.5 inches, but my origin is going to be in the middle. So I'll click OK. So this is done. So we can come here and we can see how it looks like. So this is actually the front and this is actually the right. Now come back here. And now I am going to make this circle. This circle, which is actually at the top. We are going to do everything step by step. Okay, we can make this circle as well. We can make this one as well, and we can make the whole. Right now, it's up to you whether you want to make this one first or you want to make this one first. It's up to you. There is no hard and fast rule. So I will prefer. Okay, let's let's make this one. Uh, let's make let's make this circle first. OK, so this is actually. This is actually circular. 
and uh, we can see that if you go here you can see that this this is actually over here this this is the length of the cylinder the length of the cylinder is over here it's up to this point or oh, let's let we will make this afterwards first make this thing first so we have got a circle with diameter 3 okay we are going to make the circle with diameter 3 inches and then after that we are going to make this counterbore and what is the distance how high it is it is actually 4.26 inches above the center line so you have the center line it's 4.26 inches above the center line okay so we are going to make now this circle 4.26 and 3 inches okay so come here and which plane are we going to select now we are going to select the uh, right plane okay so because this that circular that circle is actually the, it lies on the right plane so we are going to select the right plane and we are going to make a circle above on the right plane and the diameter of this circle is three so it is three and we will turn on this view temporary axis so that we can see this temporary axis now the distance from this center to this axis is how much it's 4.26 it is 4.26 inches 4.26 inches okay it is there and you can see the circle on the on the right plane okay so this is 4.26 inches above and you can see that it is it it lies at the end actually it it is actually at the end end position so what is the what is the radius of this big circle the radius of this big circle is going to be 1.2.12 the diameter is actually 2.12 so the radius is going to be 2.12 divided by 2 which is 1.06 so this is actually 1.06 so we are going to make an offset of 1.06 okay we are going to start from here and then we will go 0 0.44 units uh, in in this direction okay so i will come back here so this is my circle and the diameter of the circle is three uh, let's come to the right view and make this point and this one vertical okay now we will go to features and we will go to exclude boss and select offset from the sketch plane and what is the offset direction it is actually 1.06 1.06 or you can say 2.12 divided by 2 inches okay but this offset direction is not correct so flip it now this is okay and how much distance you have to go in this direction it's 0 0.44 as we can see from document so it's 0 0.44 in this direction so you can see over here it starts from here from this end and it goes which is 1.06 away 1.06 units away inches away and then we move 0 0.44 units in this direction so now this is okay click okay so you have got this circle now what is the next thing you can make the counter board if you want right now or we can make it afterwards we can make it afterwards let's make this thing this profile let's make this profile we'll make this one afterwards we'll make this circular thing afterwards Let's make this profile. Okay, so you can see from here that this is actually, you know, if you if you move this point over here, this, this you know, this intersects over here. So this line and this thing is the same thing. So it it starts from here, and you can see the hidden lines at the back. Okay, 
So this is actually a rectangular profile and it starts from the bottom and it goes all the way up to the top, up to the top till here. And similarly, this goes, starts from here and it goes all the way down till the bottom. And what's the thickness? The thickness is 0 0.5 inches. So we are going to choose the, the plane parallel to the right plane. So we are not going to choose the right plane right now. If we choose the right plane, then we will have to do the offset. So we are going to choose the back plane, the, this plane. We are going to choose this plane. So we will choose this plane. We are going to come here. Okay. Choose the sketch on this plane. Make this normal. And you can see where it is actually. Okay, so if I'm making this normal. And now I am going to make this thing. So we are going to take the advantage of the symmetry relation. Now this, I'm going to first of all make the center line. This is the center line. Okay, and I am going to sketch. I'm going to start from here and I will go up to this point. Okay, otherwise, if you are not getting the horizontal line, what you can do, choose horizontal from here. So start from here and go up to this position. Okay, sorry, this is not horizontal, this is vertical. So go here, choose the vertical line. As you can see, this, this long red axis is for the vertical and this small sh short red axis is for the horizontal. So we are going to start from here. I think there is a horizontal line. We need to delete this one. Otherwise, it's going to make trouble. So let's start from here. Go up. OK. Go up vertically. So this is vertical. And then start from here. Choose vertical. Start from here and go up. OK, so now these are the two intersections. So it is intersecting over here as well on this side. And you know that because this side is, you know, tangent. As you can see, this is tangent to this circle. So when it's tangent to this circle, so it's going to intersect over here. OK. So this is this is tangent and it's going to intersect over here. Now, What is actually the distance between them? It's actually the total distance is two inches, as you can see. It's two inches and we know that it's symmetric about this, this center axis. So click on this one, click on this one, and click on this one, and choose a symmetry relation. Okay, and the distance between them is two inches. This is two inches. Okay, so you can see it is like this. Make a line, make a close contour, make a close contour. This is, you know, the this left side, make a close contour over here. And then choose this convert entities and click on this one and click OK. This is the entity. Trim this side, this side and this side. So you have got a close contour as you can see over here. Now this one has. How much how much is the. How much is the weight? It is 0 0.5 inches. So you have to go 0 0.5 inches forward. OK, so I'm going to go 0 0.5 inches. I'm going to exclude 0 0.5 inches. Exclude boss. In the opposite direction, and it is actually 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So you will see this thing now. There is you, you can see this. This over here now. There are two options make a hole again and remove this material from this side. OK, we will do it at the end. We will have to make or we should have. We should have made this hole at the end. We should have made this hole at the end. OK, now remember that you always have to merge the result. OK, do not forget to merge result. If you do not merge the result, what will happen? This will be a separate entity. So you have to merge the result. Now, when you click, 
when you merge the result this is going to become a single entity as you can see there is no line over here for example i do not merge result what's going to happen let's uncheck this so what's going to happen you will see a line as you can see now this is a separate solid this one is a separate solid and this is also a separate solid you are you are going to see a line over here as well because these three are different separate solid but when we merge the result what happens there is no line so this this line is gone now this is the line of tangency actually so but the the solid is this this object is a single piece okay so now you have we have got this thing we have got this thing and uh, yes if you see your wireframe model and you make the front view so you are going to see something like this so you can verify a model when you are building up your model you can verify and you can see these dotted line okay which is actually over here as well okay now let's make this counter board this counter board let's make this counter board over here so go to whole wizard whole wizard and go to this counter board now because we have got the inch system so we are going to choose nc inch and uh, do not worry about this type binding head screw you can choose anyone um, and because we are we are choosing the we are going to enter the our specified value which is given in which is given over here so we do not need to worry about it so what's actually the diameter of this small hole 0 0.75 so where is this small hole this is the small hole 0 0.75 and what is the diameter of a big hole it is actually 2.125 as we can see here 2.125 2.125 and what is the depth of this counter board, this U? The depth of the U is 0 0.12. So this is the symbol for the depth. And U is actually for the, for U is the symbol for the counter board, this counter board hole. Okay, and the top line gives you the diameter of this small hole. So it is actually 0 0.12, 0 0.12, 0 0.12, okay. And then that's fine. So end condition blind because we want to make the hole all the way through, not blind, sorry, up to next, up to next. So we want hole this hole all the way to this side, as we can see from here. So this hole is all through. Okay. So that's it. And uh, don't worry about this one. We do not need to worry about the size because we have specified our own dimension. So we do not need to worry about the size. This is about the tolerance and fits. So we do not need to worry about the tolerance and fits. It's normal. Okay, sorry. Now, this, this num all these numbers automatically change with respect to this zero, zero. So I have to re-enter the values. So what is the value 0 0.75? 0.75 okay now these numbers these wide numbers are according to this this size so i am actually put entering my own own size so that's why they are yellow 0 0.75 2.125 and 0 0.12 0 0.75, 2.125, and 0 0.12, as we can see here. 2.15, 0 0.12. Okay, now these yellow values are going to prevail. They will be active. This, this number is, the values stored with respect to this number is go, not going to be active. Now go to positions, select this plane, okay? And where I want to make this hole, over here in the middle, okay? If you do not know, if you do not know the positions, click anywhere over here and click OK. Done. 
okay now the position of the counter board is not correct so what you can do you can come back look there is a minus sign over here edit this sketch edit this sketch and click on this point and this point and make it coincident or what else you can do click on this point and this circular edge go to add relation click on this circular edge not this face this edge this edge and this point okay there is no relation coming so what you are going to do click on this point first make it the right view click on this point and this point and make it coincident when you make it coincident this is going to be fully defined this minus is going to go away okay this is going to go away and you will there is no minus now now this hole is actually in the middle this counter board is in the middle okay now this is done let's save the document